Hi everyone, in this video, we would learn how to create four quadrant in Excel. So this is my data you can see here, factors, dependence power, and uh, as well as dri driving power, you can see here. So I want to create chart. I want to create four quadrant chart here. So what I have to do, I would simply insert and I want scatter chart. So now you can see here, this chart is uh, here and I can enlarge this size and a uh, lit little bit bigger. So what I have to do in this chart, you have to simply format, you have to change chart type and I would like to select this one right so i had selected now what i have to do let me i want to uh, clear these uh, grid lines so i would delete all these grid lines now i don't want these grid lines also again i will delete all these grid lines and i want box so what i have to do i want this box so border i want so simply i have to click here solid lines and that should be black color so you can see now this is the complete box is created over here now now what i want this is the x axis right and uh, this one is the my uh, 0 to 12 right these are the minimum and maximum values so what i have to do on this x axis i don't want till 14 i want only 0 to 12 so what i have to do again x axis option what i have to do rather than 14 i have to write 12 so you can see here 0 to 2 and 12 and as well as what i have to do here is again i don't want this one is the major gap is 2 i want only one point gap so i will press here so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 12 and same thing that would be applicable on y-axis i don't want till 14 i want only 12 because maximum value is 12 and again i don't want to one i mean two gap i need only one so you can see both sides this is the my curve is the, these are the x-axis and y-axis has been created so now I want some, I mean, midpoint also. So what I will do, simply I will click here and I will select data, right? And then after that, I will add. So series name is X, right? And uh, X value is 0 to 12. And uh, Y value on this particular series, we I would select these two values, then I would press OK. And again, I would press add and the same thing that would be applicable for Y. And I would, uh, I had selected this and series X is six by six and series Y is, I would select this zero to 12. And then I would press okay. Now you can see here and I would press okay. So these are the, my midpoints, right? I want for this midpoints borders also, right? So I would uh, simply, I will go there and I need border. First of all, I would press this. Yeah, here is, you can see, um, right. I will press this. I would select this and then after that I want to solid lines. So here is you can see and this solid line width also you can reduce 0.75 right. I don't want the much thicker lines as well as same here what you have to do here is again I want solid line and that should be black color not much thicker so I will reduce it 0.75 right so now you can see these lines we had created now what I have to do I want to give these levels name also so simply I have to press here right at data levels so you can see one three five four but i don't want these levels right and marker also i don't want marker right um okay lines and uh okay solid lines right so i want in this the, the these are the levels so i want to change these levels 
So what I have to do, I will click here and uh, I will go there and uh, right. In series options, you can see I want to change format data levels. Yes. So I want these values from the cell. I will values from the cell. So simply what you have to do, you have to click here and here is the format data levels and values from the cell. And I want values from the cell, these values, then simply I would press here. So you can see here, these are the numbers are here. Now what I have to do, what should be the shape of, uh, I will change, this is the, um, you can see here, I want to change data level shapes. So I want this one. So you can see here, these are the data levels are reflecting over here. Now, or otherwise I can change these levels. Uh, I'm sure this is uh, fine. This is the nice one. No, not that one. I want something else, some different levels. So, okay, fine. I will take this one. And now what I have to do, I can increase their font size also. So we have to go there and simply rather than 9, I want 10 or 10.5. Right. These are my font size, how I have to increase. And now I want to give some levels inside these four quadrant box, what I'm calling these boxes. So what I have to do, simply I will go there, insert and text and text box and uh, let's say this box I am calling it independent independent because these are my four quadrants so I had given this and again the same thing I will do it the text and simply I will add this text box over here I will in, I will insert this text box and this is the linkage linkage right I had uh, written here linkage and uh, right. And uh, same thing I want to add here once again because all my four quadrants, how I want to call it. This is my autonomous. autonomous. This is my autonomous. And this quadrant I am calling it dependent. So I would like to add one more text box that would be dependent that would be dependent and I don't want this thing I want to give levels right access titles I will click here so now you can see here simply we have to reduce little bit this chart and uh, these titles I want to give here is on the y-axis we have taken uh, driving path we have taken driving power and on the x-axis we have taken this is the dependent power. We have taken dependent power. Right. And we can increase this size font size also. Okay. Let's say 16. That should be bold. And uh, color I want of this these alphabets black. Right. So, and same thing is that would be applicable here. I want to increase this size and that would be bold and black color. Right. And chart title. Yes, it shows, sorry, it shows chart title. So we want to give this chart title like uh, um, driving. We have to give driving and dependence right driving and dependence path or we can call it something we have to increase the size also and that should be good so i'm sure 
and uh, this is the and any other design also you can opt right there's the so many chart designs are available you can do it it would be like this it could be blue it could be black right it would be blue it could be in that way that i had already given you uh, i have already shown you that was the blue font size also you can use this so i'm sure you can use and simply what you have to do how we have to copy this right and uh, we will simply control c and you have to put this this chart anywhere onto the your word document i wish this video would be helpful how we have to create four quadrants in the excel Thank you so much.